Stories are like birds. They like to go on long journeys. And there's one group of stories that set out on a journey from Africa. And this group of stories came from Africa across the sea. Some of them broke off and they sailed to the Caribbean, to the West Indies. And another group sailed on until they got to America. Now, when the stories were in Africa, they were about a spider. But when they got to America, the spider turned into a rabbit. In Africa, he was called Anansi, the spider. And in America, he is called Br'er Rabbit. And Br'er Rabbit is a trickster. He loves to play tricks on people, especially two people. He loved playing tricks on Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear. Now, one day, Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear were walking along the dusty road. And Br'er Bear said, I say Br'er Fox there. Br'er Fox there. I am up to my eyeballs in misery. Because that Br'er Rabbit is always playing tricks on me. He's making me look like a fool. Br'er Fox looked at Br'er Bear and said, I say, boy, 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 you speak the truth. But I've got some tricks of my own. And I'm going to trick that Br'er Rabbit. Now, Br'er Fox, see over there is a big bit of tar. Pick up that bit of tar and give it to me. Now, a bit of tar is sticky and black. And when Br'er Bear gave Br'er Fox the tar, Br'er Fox began to mold the tar. Mold it into a little baby. A tar baby. And then he got the tar baby and he put it on a post. And he said, well now, Br'er Fox, let's me and you hide, because Br'er Roberts, he's uh, going to come up this road, and he's going to see our tar baby. Well, I, 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 what's he going to do there, Br'er Fox? <laughs> Watch and learn, boy. Watch and learn. So the two animals hid behind a bush, and they waited. And they only had to wait five minutes, because sure enough, up the road came Br'er Rabbit, whistling a tune. <whistles> he stopped. He saw the tar baby, and he said, Good morning, sir. I said good morning, sir. The tar baby said nothing. I, I say, I say, I say, do you know it's polite in these parts that you say good morning back? I'm going to say it to you again. Good morning, sir. Still, no response. Why, sir, I'm going to slap you in the face if you don't say good morning to me. I will. I look at me. Look at me. Look at that hand. Look at that hand. I'm going to slap you now. Slap. And when he slapped the tar baby, his hand stuck. I, let go of my hand now, boy. Let go of my hand now. Let go of my hand. Oh, I'm going to slap you with my other hand. Slap. And now both hands were stuck. Why? 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 As I, I'm going to kick you with my foot. And he kicked. And his foot stuck. And he kicked with his other foot. And his other foot stuck. Help me. I say, he I say, help me. Help me. He's got me. He's got me. From behind the bush came Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear. And Br'er Bear was laughing. <laughs> yeah, Br'er br 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 Fox, look at him. Look at him. Caught on the tar, baby. Look, look, look. Well, well, well. What do we got here, Br'er Rabbit? You're caught on a tar, baby. You've been tricked. And now you're ours. Because we are mighty sick of the way you've been tricking us, boy. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you off that tar, baby. So Br'er Bear grabbed Br'er Rabbit and held him tight. Get off me, get off me. Be quiet, boy. Br'er Fox said, you know what we're going to do? I's going to eat the top part of you. And Br'er Bear, he's going to eat the bottom part of you. And Br'er Rabbit said, oh, yes, Br'er Fox, you can do that to me. I don't care if you eat my top part. I don't care if you eat my bottom part. But whatever you do, do not throw me in the briar patch. Now a briar patch is a big thorny bush about as big as a football field. 
And Brad Bear said, oh, let's not eat them. Let's, let's tie stones around them and throw them in the river. And Brer Rabbit said, well, boys, brothers, you can eat me top and bottom. You can throw stones in the river with me tied to them. But whatever you do, do not throw me in the briar patch. Well, Brer Fox said, well, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get you, and we're going to throw you on the fire. Well, you can throw me on the fire. You can throw me in the river. You can eat me top and bottom, but whatever you do, don't throw me in the briar patch. Brer Fox said to Brer Bear, I don't think this boy wants to be thrown in the briar patch. What, 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 what do you want to do there, Brer Fox? I want to throw him in the briar patch. Come with me, rabbit. So they both got Brer Rabbit. One got his arm, one got his leg, the other got his arm, the other got his leg. And they said, on the count of three, Brer Bear, one, two, three. And they threw Brer Rabbit in the Brer Briar Patch. And the briars and the thorns were sharp, as sharp as razors. Brer Rabbit went right through the Brer Patch. And Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear said, What's done is done. Yee-hee-hee! What? What's that? Yee-haw! They looked at the briar patch, and there was Br'er Rabbit. <laughs> I fooled you once again, Br'er Fox. I fooled you once again, Br'er Bear. Because to see this briar patch, I grew up in this briar patch. I live in this briar patch. I love this briar patch. Bye-bye, boys. Catch you later. And Br'er Rabbit, he ran. He ran through the briar patch, whooping and laughing. And that is the end of the story.